What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an affordable haul. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for the giveaway winner from the last video and how to enter this one. We're gonna get right into it. I have some stuff from BH Cosmetics, Elf, Juvia's Place, and some NYX stuff. I'm gonna get right into this video. If you're not subscribed already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. In order to win my giveaways, you have to be subscribed. Up first, we have the Neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics. If you're a neutral person and you like everyday colors, this is the palette for you. It's got blush, eyeshadow. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. You have a row of blushes and some mix of matte, shimmer, and metallic. There's even some called soft shimmer, so there's a lot to play with in here, and it's very, very user-friendly. I like the white casing. It's the traditional Morphe-esque plastic case, but I do like the white. Makes it a little less cheap looking. It's a very affordable palette. BH always has sales, and I liked it so much I did pick up another one, and that will be part of the giveaway in this video. Up next from BH, I ordered the Rose Gold Marble Collection. This collection is absolutely stunning. This is a new box. I'm not going to open it because I already have a second box that I bought to use and have one on backup because the first set I bought I loved. If you guys were thinking about the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection for $160, stay away from it and get this set. And the quality of the hairs are super soft. It is very, very heavy. The brushes are absolutely beautiful. And the quality is way, way better than Morphe. Uh, they just came out. They're affordable, very heavy, so they have a very luxurious feel to them. It has 10 brushes, mixture between face and eye. And these are some of the face brushes. I didn't want to show you the ones that I already have that are dirty. And here are some of the eye brushes. It is definitely worth the money and you will not be disappointed in these brushes. BH makes some of my favorite brushes that I use on a daily basis. Up next, I picked these up from Ulta. These are Catrice eyeshadow palettes and they're in collaboration with two beauty influencers. I did hear of him. This is Wensley Benjamin Carter, and I did not hear of her, the fashion freak. However, I picked these up because I do like bright colors, and I do like Catrice eyeshadows, so I'm going to play with these a little bit, and I will get back to you on these. I'm not sure how they perform, but by the time I get back to you, they'll still be available. They are very similar to each other, so I would say if you wanted one, you really don't have to pick up both. This is the one from The Fashion Freak, and this is from Wesley. Okay, up next, I bought this brush from e.l.f. This is the Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool. Bought this specifically for a mask that I got with my Sephora points. I know that's high-end, so I don't really want to mention it too much, but I did want to mention the brush. The uh, Glam Glow mask that I bought had a lot of glitter in it, and I didn't want to ruin the brushes that I do use for face masks. So I thought this would be great to use because it's silicone. You just wash it off and you don't have to worry about it. And that mask has a ton of glitter in it, and I didn't want to wreck my stuff. So I got this, and I actually do really like this. And I'll be using this with other masks as well now. And then I wanted to talk about this. I know Japanese is a high-end brand, but this was on sale at Ulta, and I think it's definitely worth the buy. This is a triangular shaped kabuki brush from Japanesque. It was buy one, get one half off, so I did buy two. This is one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation with. I don't apply foundation with a brush too often, but sometimes I do depending on how my skin is for the day or the type of foundation I'm using. So this one, as you can see, is dirty. I've already used it and I'm keeping one as a backup because the sale was really good. But as you can see, it's triangular and it just fits nicely everywhere you wanna put your foundation without getting it in your eyebrows because I tend to do my eyebrows first and you have to be careful with a beauty blender going around your eyebrows and things like that so I really like this it gets in all the little corners and it's a very very good quality brush so if we're looking for a high-end brush I would go grab it now because it's on sale like I said buy one get one half off so it was like $25 for two so it's definitely worth the money it will last you a long time and I've only had good experience with Japanese products up next, this is a sponge that I learned about from Mel Thompson. I absolutely adore her. If you don't know who she is, I'll leave a link down below. Go check her out. She's amazing and so, so honest. She is a certified makeup artist, so she has a lot of tricks and she knows what she's talking about and she never steered me wrong yet. Anyway, she swears by this over the beauty blender, so I picked a few up and I agree. This has become my new favorite sponge. This is by Sonia Kashuk and you can get this in Target. I'll leave a link for it down below. See, this is dry, 
and this is what it looks like when it's um, semi damp it's not too too damp right now so it's starting to go back down but this is one that I use it has a nice flat end as well and then a pointy end and the rounded end and it's soft and it doesn't eat your makeup very affordable in fact I liked it so much I went and bought gray and white ones I bought a pack of four and the pack of four is affordable also and it comes with different sizes I love it so if you're looking for a new affordable sponge I promise you you'll love this go check it out this is actually something I picked up specifically for this video for the giveaway. I thought this was the cutest thing. I got this at BH Cosmetics, and all it is is a little travel brush set. But it's a good eye brush set, and I thought it would be great to throw in your pocketbook or just in a suitcase and not take up too much room if you're not planning on doing a ton of makeup. I thought it would be really cute. So I actually picked up one for myself and one for a giveaway. That will be in this video at the end also. Up next, we got a brow pencil from BH Cosmetics, which have become my all-time favorite brow pencils. They are extremely affordable. They don't have a lot of shades, but they have the shades that you would need. Nothing crazy. They have, you know, your traditional brunette, blonde, black. But this one here is my shade. This is in the shade Ebony, and the tip is so fine. It's finer than any ABH, finer than Benefit. And it doesn't rub, it's not waxy, it goes on nice and smooth. You can make really beautiful little hair strokes. It has the spoolie on the end, it's affordable. I grab this every single time. I don't use anything else anymore other than this and my brow gel, I love it. Up next, I didn't hear a lot about these and I saw them in Ulta and they are very new. I did only grab one because I happened to buy a lot of stuff that day. This is the NYX Machinist palette. They have three all together. This one is Grind. This is the one I chose because it suited, it was the colors that I enjoy, but they do have two other ones. There is a cool tone one, I think. I just love it. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of all the gears of my motorcycle. I just thought it was a badass palette. It's got a hard, nice travel size case. It's got a huge, huge mirror. And then these are the colors. I just thought they were really, really pretty. They're great for fall. And then I grabbed the Afrique palette from Juvia's Place. From the Ulta website, I have to have every Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette they come out with. I love them. I think they're the most pigmented. You can't go wrong with a Juvia's palette. It's affordable. You get what you pay for. And then some. Her shimmers are absolutely stunning. This color here, coffee, has some glitter in it. I mean, it's a gold, but it's a gorgeous gold. There's so much glitter in it, and it doesn't fall out anywhere. She just really knows what she's doing with these palettes. And then this one here is such a pretty... Uh, inner eye highlight. So that is the Afrique palette. Okay, up next I grab these off the Hush app. These are the Afterglow and After Charge palettes from Bad Habit. This is what the Afterglow palette looks like. This does have a mirror as well and it has all your beautiful gem tones, purples and pinks, beautiful shades. I think this will be really pretty for fall. This one I am excited to try on my eye. It's a purple, but it's filled with glitter. This is what the Afterglow palette looks like. And you have your traditional warm tone palettes in this one. So you have your oranges and your reds and your mustards. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Okay, and up next, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, which is on sale. I know that's a high-end brand, but it is on sale for $17. And I thought that was a great buy at Ulta, considering it's one of my favorite foundations I've been using. But I bought the wrong shade, but I wanted you to see how creamy their foundations are. I love a stick foundation. I find it to be very easy and to place it down where you want more coverage and less coverage and then I also find them to blend out really nicely and I also like using a cream contour and a cream bronzer when I use stick foundations to me it just makes the base look flawless but at $17 and I highly recommend this foundation I think is a steal and they have a ton of shade range so you should be able to find a shade that suits you and I do like the foundation it lasts long it's easy and it's affordable right now so you have to get it now I'm not sure what it is full price I think it's like 25 I don't think it's very expensive at regular price but right now like I said it is on sale at Ulta and this was the shade almond and it's too orange for me so I have to return this I thought 
I would try a little deeper because the one that I did have was a little too light, but this is too dark. So I might have to, I always have to mix my shit anyway. Okay, and also from Ulta, I picked up these NYX Be Gone Makeup Wipes. I actually really like these and I just wanted to mention them. I don't like them to remove your makeup on your face, but if you film and you do a lot of swatches, pick up a couple of packs of these. They take off the makeup nicely. And I just don't feel like my skin is clean if I use them on my face, if that makes sense. I go through them like water when I'm filming because I do so many swatches. So I, I don't really want to use an expensive makeup wipe to get this off. But these are really, really good. I enjoy these and they do the job for what I need them to do. Okay, so that kind of completes my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the end to find out who won the last giveaway. I have a few videos coming up. One of them will be featuring my favorite purple makeup, so it's going to include purple eyeshadows, purple lipsticks, purple glitter, all my favorite purple products, and I got my first PR box, so I'm so fucking excited about it. I'm going to dedicate an entire video to it because it's the very first one I've ever received, and I'm freaking excited, and I want to share it with you guys. I actually received it a few weeks ago, and I didn't want to talk about it at all, until I tried every product I received so I would have a full breakdown for you guys. But that completes this video. I will see you in my next one. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye. Can't open the fucking thing because these stupid ass nails. <sighs> but they are completely luxurious feet. And all my nails just fucking fell off. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Did my sneeze really ruin it? Nope. Okay. I'll edit it up. Fucking can't open this one either. This fall. Don't believe that in this whole fall's almost over. Mm -hmm. Mother's a whore. Okay, and last up, I have a palette. No, I'm not gonna put that in. I'll use that for another video. Fuck that. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to win and how to enter. Oh, fucking idiot. <laughs>